non-profit organizations yes. that will allow former homeowners to remain in their home as oh, renters. Turn, oh, turn, turn it over. Turn it over. Yeah. Turn it over. Yeah. What's so hard about this? Yeah. Let's get it right. You want to stabilize community. That's so true. You so want to improve the housing market. Yes, yes, yes. You got some simple solutions to get that done. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What's so hard about it? Oh. Fannie Mae. Let's change these policies. Check, check. We're going to get this round started. I want to thank everybody for coming out. You guys are warriors coming out in this weather. Come out here and defend this home and fight for the mingles and fought for so many other families. We're City Life Vida Alvarez and we're out here today with COVID as well, a community organization that's out here fighting to buy homes back and keep, keep homes in the community. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, turn that property over to an organization like COHIP. Turn it over to local community organizations that are willing to keep the homes in the community for the betterment of the community, to uplift right, the community. That's right. That's right. That's right. Action. <laughs> Let them know we're here. This is the main property that we're focusing on today, but there's two other properties as well that we want Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac to do the same thing oh, to yeah. turn over. And that's 193 and 195 Norwell Street. And we're going to have a representative, Maureen, from, from Cohen, speak about a little bit about that. It was a Fannie Mae property. It was sold to a, an individual in August for about 120000 He turned around and he's listing it today for twice the amount that he bought it for. So he's flipping it. In less than a year, we brought this to Fannie Mae's attention, no response. That doesn't make sense to us. Why can't they sell property to us? Why is it so easy to sell to an investor and not to us? Doesn't make sense. But not only has he put sweat equity in this home, he's put sweat equity into building this community. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, right? yes, yes. You know, he's a, he's a community member. Yes, yes, He's yes. from the community. He's among the community. Yes. And we want people like this to live in the community. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Right? Since 2010, I have been a member of, of City Life, uh, Vito Urbana, fighting for my home, and I will continue to do so. I want to demand to Mayor uh -huh. to make principal reduction to allow the home owner to buy back the house. Yes, yes, yes. Or to allow the, a non-profit organization to buy the, the those houses and become a cooperative. Yes. That's my demand. Yes, yes. I believe that Meloac have the power to do that. Housing is a human right. Yes. yes. Housing is a human right. Yes, right. We have the right to have the place to call home. That's right. We have it in the right. I'm going to continue to fight until our dream come true. Right. Thank you to everybody to be here. Okay. We're going to continue fighting. I have court day on March 27, and I will go with all my confidence that I'm going to win. How much you are in the position to fight yes. for the community? All right. All right. We ain't going to stop us, no, either. The, this is criminal action That's right. going around the whole United States. That's right. Not only here in Dorchester in 49 Stewart. It's going to take it two generations again they put, uh, to they be available to get a house. Yes. Yes. And we have to fight for that because we are working class people. That's we right. are who right. pay the taxes. Yes. Yes. We are who move in this society. Yes. 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 And we deserve, yes. we deserve yes. that yes. we have a right to live in, in this way. And it's going to hit this neighborhood pretty hard pretty soon if we don't stand together and fight Fannie and Freddie. It creates a lot of valuable property that can be swept up by the investors we heard about. That's what they're doing. They can stay out of town, but they can jack up the rents. Yes, so. And they can destabilize neighborhoods all to their betterment. Yes, yes. So what's happening in this neighborhood? Over half of people face unaffordable housing. They pay more than 30% of their income for housing. That's unsustainable. Over yes. half. So Over true. half. And that number has gone way up since 2000. In 2000, 7% of people in this neighborhood, of households in this neighborhood, made $100,000 or more. Now, almost a quarter of the homes in this neighborhood have household incomes of $100,000 or more. The working class nature of this neighborhood is under threat. Right, you heard the stats. What, 79% owned by the public? Yeah. yeah. This is what the public wants. That's right. We want the policies changed 
and we want them done now. Now! Uh, now! Yes. Because back in the days, though Chester was rough, rough. as you all know. Yeah. yeah. I have seen good, bad, and ugly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my family used to tell me to move. And I said, no, That's right. I like Dorchester. Yes. yes. I like living among my people. Yes. And if all the good people leave, what will we have remaining here? Thank you, yes. thank you, thank we, you. We cannot yes. always yes. give up. I do believe something going to happen with all our effort. Yes. We, we all working and fighting together. <laughs> Housing costs are up 12% over the last year. 12%. If you want to buy a home, it costs 12% more than it did last year. That's more than the city of Boston. This is one of the most unaffordable cities in the country, and this neighborhood is becoming more unaffordable. Poor people trying to make a life. Yes, so true. America is supposed to be the land of opportunity. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma he came like myself, an immigrant, looking for the opportunity, yes, and he came, yes. and he was doing the right thing. Yeah. You work hard, you buy a house, you mind your business, and you do the right thing. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we fall short. Yes. No fault of our own. Right. Sometimes we lose jobs, we get into financial difficulties, not because we are gamblers or drug addicts, yes. but because we are doing the right thing. Yes. And when you see right, good, godly people doing the right thing and they fall short, this is what we're supposed to do. Yes. Come together and help. Right. Yes. Come together and stand. Yes. Stand together and fight. Yes. Yes. Let's get it right. You want to stabilize communities. That's so true. So you want to improve the housing market. Yes, yes, yes. You got some simple solutions to get that done. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What's so hard about it? Oh. Fannie Mae. Let's change these policies. Change the policies. We put, we put Mel Watt in place, right? Yes. 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 So Mel Watt, listen to us. People want to know. People want to know. Stop the evictions. Stop the evictions. Stop the evictions. Stop the evictions.